Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And this video is day 11 of my 12 days of Christmas. So this video, I will be making my favorite cookie. It is butter pecan chocolate chip cookies. Um, I did have a little help from my husband in the kitchen with this cookie, but this is our favorite seasonal cookie. I only make it around either Thanksgiving or Christmas. Um, it's very buttery and really good. So if you like butter pecans and you like chocolate chips, stick around, let's get started. Here's an idea of all the ingredients we will be using for this recipe. I will have the exact measurements in the description box below. So for starters, you will need two and a half cups of flour. I like to add all of my dry ingredients in a bowl separate from my wet ingredients first. And then you will need one teaspoon of cornstarch. You will need one teaspoon of baking soda. A half a teaspoon of salt. Once I have all of my dry ingredients in the bowl, I like to give it a quick little mix. In my KitchenAid mixer bowl, I put a half a cup of granulated sugar, one cup of dark brown sugar, make sure it's packed inside of your measuring cup. Once I mix all of the sugar together, I add one cup of soft butter. And then I will be adding two eggs at room temperature. A trick that I like to use is I like to add warm water to a cup and place my eggs in the warm water to get them room temperature a little faster. You will need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I sometimes add to two and a half, just depending on how sweet you'd like your cookies. Once I have everything mixed, I will be adding the dry ingredients little at a time as my mixer's going.
Once everything is mixed, I will be adding one and a half cups of pecans. And this step is optional. I do add one cup of Ghirardelli chocolate chips. You can totally skip this and just do peca butter pecan cookies. It's always good to let your cookie dough chill in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes to get hard and make it easier for you to place in your cookie sheet. I bake them for about 12 minutes and this batch makes about 46 cookies. Thank you guys for watching and please make sure you check out the description box below for exact measurements and if you aren't already a subscriber to our channel please make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you'll no be notified every time we post a video.